Hello friends, welcome to our channel Grow Yourself. Friends, in this video, we will cover fundamentals of economics, microeconomics, and macroeconomics and types of economies. So let's start with what is economics. According to Adam Smith, the father of modern economics, it is the study of wealth. Here we study how wealth is produced and consumed. This definition is known as wealth definition. So now let's see what Marshalls has to say about it. Economics is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. On one side it is the study of wealth and the other and more important side it is the study of men. It is also known as welfare definition. So now let's see what Robbins has to say about it. According to him it is the study of human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses. Scarce or scarcity means lack of resources or we can say the resources are not enough to satisfy the needs and requirements. In the definition means is synonym to resources. Alternative uses phrase means that man has to make a choice as there are not enough resources and man has unlimited wants so man has to choose which wants he must fulfill now and which can be postponed robin's definition is known as scarcity definition as throughout his definition he only talks about scarcity the biggest problem is that the resources are not only limited but have alternative uses. Let's take an example of land. We all know that land is limited. Our mother earth is not going to expand at all. So on a piece of land either we can build a house or we can do crop cultivation or something else. This way we see that there are many alternative uses to the same limited resource and this is all because there is a huge demand for such kind of limited resources. So let's move on to our next topic which is microeconomics and macroeconomics. Microeconomics is the study of economics at an individual group or company level it studies the demand and supply for a specific product. It also focuses on the issues that affects individuals and companies. While macroeconomics is the study of national economy as a whole, it affects the economy as a whole. Example, unemployment rate of an area or of a country, GDP of a economy, effects of exports and imports. From the above definition, we may think that micro and macro economics are completely different, but they are remarkably similar and depends on each other. We will understand this using example. On which aspect macroeconomics focuses? Answer is inflation and cost of living. Now what causes inflation? There are many factors ranging from low interest rates to expansion of money supply in the market. Let's discuss it in the terms of microeconomics. When there is inflation, 
the price of goods, services and commodities increase. It has a serious effect on individual and business. Hence, businesses are forced to raise their prices in response to the increased cost of materials. They have to pay more to the employees because of higher cost of living. Now let's move on to types of economies. First is market economy. In market economy, major decisions about production and consumption are made by individuals and private firms. They have the freedom to buy and sell goods on a competitive market which determines a fair price for goods and services. This kind of economy usually occurs in democratic states. It is also called capitalistic economy. The second is socialistic or command economy. It is also called centrally planned economy because it is planned by central government. Here, central government controls the entire economy. It decides allocation of resources. It also decides the prices for goods and services. Example, during World War II, the United States largely took control of the American economy, forcing business to build tanks and planes. Supplies were also rationed. Example To buy more toothpaste, people had to return the empty tube because metal was not enough to supply. Third is Mixed Economy. It is the combination of market and socialistic economies. Here, among free market states, the government takes some action to govern economy so that the government may protect industries or it may be for helping the consumers. India is also a mixed economy where public sector, private sector and joint sector coexist and complement each other. Public sector means socialistic, private sector means capitalistic economy. Now we will check how much we have learned today. So here's the question. So friends, thanks for watching this video. You can answer the above question in the comment box below. From now onwards, I'll continue sharing topics for banking and finance in my upcoming videos. So if you don't want to miss these topics, then do subscribe to our channel and click on the notification icon to watch our videos to the earliest. Goodbye.